Hey there and welcome back to Jovo Wednesday on Devil Lab. This time I'm going to show you how to build an Alexa audio player skill with the Jovo framework. Uh, the Alexa audio player interface can be used to uh, build skills that play long form audio files, high quality audio files and so on. For example, you could use this interface to build a radio skill, uh, to build a podcast player skill or anything that uh, relies on long form audio uh, like thunderstorm sounds, for example, that are highly popular right now in the skill store. And we're gonna build a skill based on the Jovo audio player template that just streams one audio file. Uh, so let's get started. As you can see here, we offer a Jovo template uh, called Alexa Audio Player, uh, which just plays an audio file after uh, launching the skill. And uh, you can download it uh, with the Jovo new command, which you can find here. So let's go to our terminal. If you don't have the Jovo CLI installed, you can do this with npm install globally the Jovo CLI. I won't do this right now. And so after you have installed it, uh, you can uh, create a new Jovo project um, by doing Jovo new, then giving it a name. I would just call it Devil Audio Player, for example. And then use a template, Alexa Audio Player. And this will create a new folder called Devil Audio Player, download the Alexa Audio Player template um, built with Jovo and install all the necessary dependencies. Okay, after the NPM dependencies are installed, we can take a look at the project. So change directory into Devil Audio Player and open it in your code editor. And here you can find in your source folder, uh, you can find the app logic. So this is still um, a very simple app. So we have a song here uh, and then we have uh, several intents. So we have a play intent, which is used to play this audio file. As you can see here, it uses the dollar Alexa skill and then the dollar audio player object and then set offset in milliseconds means played from the beginning and then play the songs which is a song which we have here um, give it a random token which is gonna call this token um, token as a string and you can even say something uh, before playing it uh, by adding this dot tell method and that's how you can play an audio file and then um, if a person says Alexa pause Alexa stop for example uh, this would um, trigger the pause intent and then cause the Alexa audio player to stop. And what we're doing here is we're um, getting the offset of when it was paused. So um, what time in the audio file was it when, when we paused it and saving it into the database so that we can play it later. We need to save that to the database uh, just because that uh, won't be stored in any session data um, because after pausing it, and then the skill is done and we can't store any session data. So we need to uh, save this to a database. And then later uh, when we tell Alexa to resume, uh, we can get that information from the database and play it again. And what we have here as well is we have um, several audio player directives uh, which can be accessed like this. We have the playback starter, the playback nearly finished. Right now we're really just logging um, stuff here. Um, but here you can you can see these are requests that are sent um, by the audio player directive. So if a playback started, this gets triggered. Um, then if a playback is nearly finished, this gets triggered. And this can later be used to play an additional audio file after um, after the playback has finished to do some data storage and, st and stuff like that. And that's it. And so um, as you can see here, we called this the pause intent, um, for example, and the resume intent. Um, if you go into the config.js file, you will find an intent map. Because we're usually building cross-platform things, uh, we like to map um, Amazon built-in intents to, um, to something more generic. And so, for example, we are uh, mapping the Amazon.pass intent to a pause intent and for the resume intent as well. And so this is why this isn't called Amazon.pass intent here, but just pause intent. And that's it. And so um, if you take a look at the language model, um, you can find that the language model has the invocation name my test app. We can also my test player 
um, as an invocation name we have the play intent and all the other intents are really just um, built in intents by Amazon and um, one more thing that needs to be done is uh, we need to enable the audio player interface and so if, if you take a look at the Jovo audio player docs uh, which I'm going to link in this episode um, you can find that you need to enable um, the audio player interface and so you need to when you are building your skill in the Alexa developer console you need to enable the interface here that it uses the audio player um, interface um, but what we are doing uh, we can already um, give the Alexa developer console this information when we're deploying the skill with the Jovo CLI so if you take a look at the project.js file for the Alexa skill object, it uses this here. The inter it attaches the audio player interface, and so uh, while deploying it, this should work. Okay, so let's start by building the Alexa interaction model based on the Jovo language model, and then deploy to the Alexa platform. And we can do this by using the Jovo build command, and this will build the language model. So if you now take a look at um, the project we find a platforms folder we have an alexa skill folder and here's the skill.json file which already has the audio player interface uh, thanks to our project.js file and this is my jovo webhook url as an endpoint and then we can use this to deploy it to the alexa platform So usually it takes a while to um, build the language model. So this is done on the Alexa platform. And what we can do, we can already take a look at our Alexa developer console. So if we go to the Alexa developer console at developer.amazon.com, you can now find the Dabble audio player Alexa skill. And if you now take a look there, you can find all our intents here. Uh, you can find the endpoint here, which is my Jovo webhook URL. And at interfaces, you can find that the audio um, player interface is enabled. And so that's it. And it also says down here that the build it was successful. And so if we go back to the terminal, you can find that it worked. And it also enabled the skill for testing. And so to test it out, we can use the Jovo run command. Open it in our terminal and try to see if it works on a device. Alexa, open my test player. Hello world. So this is the sample audio file. And as you can see here, it sent the playback started request as well, um, which you can see in the debugger here. And what you can also do is you can stop it. So you can say, Alexa, stop. Paused. Okay, so this, um, this paused it and saved it to the database. And so if we now do Alexa, resume. Resuming. You can see here it resumed um, in the middle of the song. Alexa? Stop. Paused. Okay. And so this is how you can build a very simple audio player skill. Uh, there's a few more things that can get tricky with uh, playing several audio files in a row, um, using those um, directives here, playback started, playback nearly finished, and so on. But we will get into this in a later episode. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the audio player interface, about how to build an audio player skill with Jovo, uh, just let me know. Thank you.